hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so today we are going to resume our discussion on analog electronics and uh, in the next series of videos we are going to discuss some uh, questions on diode connections okay different ways in which a diode is connected in a electronic uh, circuit and how the presence of a diode can change the behavior of the circuit we'll understand it with the help of some questions so this is the first question now i have already uh, discussed a lot uh, about the basic you know theoretical concepts formulas related to diodes the forward biasing reverse biasing the various types of applications of diodes as clipper circuits, clamper circuits, full wave rectifier, half wave rectifier, theoretical concepts. So I want you to please check out all those videos first if you have not watched them already. And if you have watched them only then come to this. And if you have some good basic understanding about the operation of diodes, you can watch this uh, video. But if uh, you lack some basic concepts theoretical concepts related to the operation or behavior of diodes you please watch those videos first okay so that you understand this video in a good way okay so we'll start with some simple questions this circuit here it has been uh, asked to find this value of current i it has a 1.5 volt dc source a 10 ohm resistor and this silicon diode is connected in this way the arrowhead means this pointing downwards p type n n type n okay so when discussion comes related to diodes the first thing that you should remember is about the built-in potential the barrier potential for silicon diodes this value is 0.7 volt and for germanium diodes it's 0.3 volt here it has been mentioned silicon and it has not been mentioned that it is an ideal diode so we have to you know go with the assumption that it is a normal diode with built-in potential 0.7 volt because there has been no, no mention about that also this information the forward resistance the diode resistance is 0.25 ohm so the equivalent representation of this diode this diode is in this way let's say we have this diode in this case if the diode is on if the diode is on only then the equivalent resistance uh, the equivalent circuit representation will be something like this 0.7 volt 0.25 ohm only when it is on okay this silicon diode here now the next important thing to determine whether this diode is on or not whether it is on or off so how to determine it there are two ways to do it okay we'll discuss those two ways and you can pick any one as per your uh, you know comfort level so the first method to determine the on or off state of the diode is replace the diode with a open circuit assume that the diode is off okay we will replace it with a open circuit this is 10 ohm this is 1.5 volt and this is open circuited let us find this 
voltage across these two terminals across which the diode is connected the p end is connected to this end the n end is connected to this end okay now as it is open circuited zero ampere current will flow through the circuit because it is open circuited so if we put kvl in this loop it will be 1.5 minus 0 into 10 0 ampere to 10 ohm minus vd equals to 0 that implies vd is equal to 1.5 volt okay so this voltage across the two terminals it is 1.5 volt here vd the voltage drop across in the, the, the voltage across the diode is 1.5 volt and the forward potential the barrier potential for silicon diode is 0.7 volt 1.5 volt is greater than 0.7 volt it means it crosses the forward barrier potential so it is sufficiently higher the voltage across the diode is sufficiently higher 1.5 volt is greater than 0.7 volt so the diode is on the diode is on it means we can replace it with its equivalent built-in potential and resistance this is the first method we know that for a diode silicon diode to be turned on the voltage across the diode must be greater than the forward potential drop the barrier potential for germanium it is 0.3 volt for silicon it is 0.7 volt here it is silicon the voltage across the diode we calculated vd is 1.5 volt which is greater than 0.7 volt so this diode here is in on state this is the first method now discuss, let us discuss the second method in the second method what we'll do is that we will replace the diode with its equivalent circuit okay we we'll replace the diode with its equivalent circuit which is the barrier potential and the forward resistance and we will find the current okay so let us find the current so it will be putting the kvl 1.5 minus 10 into i minus 0.7 minus 0.25 i all are in ohms 10 and 0.25 are in ohms that implies i is equal to 1.5 minus 0 0.7 by 10 plus 0 0.25 okay so if we make the calculations it is coming around 0 0.8 by 10.25 i'm using a calculator so the result is coming let us make the calculations it is 0 0.07804 or 0 0.078 0 0.078 ampere okay 0 0.078 ampere this is the current value now this current is flowing in this way like this okay like this 0 0.25 0 0.7 volt so we can say that this current is flowing this way okay in a diode current should always flow from p end 
to an end through the diode it can never flow in this direction it can never flow from end to p it can never flow for a forward bias diode current should always flow from p to n this current here it has it is flowing from p to n through the diode it means that the diode is forward biased okay it means that the diode is forward biased suppose this current the answer would have been minus 0.078 let us say that the result would have been like this it means that the current is flowing in this way in that case our assumption that the diode is on would have been wrong because current can never flow from n to p it can only from uh, flow from p to n end always remember this so in the second method we assume that the diode is on we replace it with its equivalent circuit then we find the current flowing through the diode then we check whether the current is flowing from p to n end through the diode and if it is happening like that then our assumption is true the diode is on if the current is flowing from n to p then it is impossible it means our assumption is wrong the diode is off okay so here in both the cases in both the methods that we used first open circuiting it finding the voltage across the diode and uh, replacing it with its equivalent circuit in the second method and finding the current through the diode in both the methods are the same result we have obtained that the diode is on so in the second method we are getting the answer of our question the value of current i which is 0.078 ampere this is the answer okay in the second method itself we are getting the answer and our assumption our you know uh, the answer which we wanted whether the diode is on or not we have got that answer also and also the value of this current flowing through the diode which is 0.078 ampere okay this this is the answer so always when we come across a circuit related to diode you have to first determine the state of the diode using one of the two methods which i just showed you you either open circuit it find the voltage across its two end consider the p end with a positive polarity n end with a negative polarity that is very important then find the voltage if it is greater than the built in potential 0.7 volt for silicon 0.3 volt for germanium then it is on otherwise it is off second method replace it with uh, with its equivalent circuit whether it's only built in potential or if forward resistance is mentioned include that then find the current flowing through the diode it should flow from p to n end through the diode it should always flow from p to n end if it is happening like that then the diode is on if it is flowing in the opposite direction the diode is off our assumption is wrong okay so here we have discussed the first question so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have have a great day thank you very much